Right, we're back at home, and uh, <laughs> what did you say earlier that it's been like? Well, I said every time we come home, we do washing, cleaning, go to appointments, and we have deliveries. That's it, I've had blood taken this morning. You've had that, because that's the first appointment, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. I feel a little bit like Doctor Who at the moment because we're probably going to confuse you completely here. We, we're back home after our tour uh, of southern England and uh, we've still got about, I, try, I was trying to figure it out, about six videos to go from that tour. Yeah. The yeah. trouble is I record the videos and I release them one every two days so it gives us a bit of sort of breathing space. So mm. I'm just looking at my screen here. I've got Bodium Castle. Uh, that'll be the next one, and that's on Sunday. On it? Sunday, yeah. Yeah. Um, this video will probably be the day before that. Well, a bit tonight, one tonight. Friday. 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 Yeah. So yeah. we've got Bodium Castle. We we went to uh, Littlehampton. So we're arriving at Littlehampton. Yeah. We've got a, um, a waffle about. For the Vanners collaboration, aren't we? Yeah. That's on Wednesday. That's on Wednesday next week. Yeah. And then we've got uh, Chichester Cathedral. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that, that's, yeah, that would be a good one. And then we went to Salisbury. Uh, I don't want to tell you too much about Salisbury, but I've got four videos from that. <laughs> from that, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so there's quite a lot of content to come. And I thought I couldn't leave this sort of update until... No, not until... We went away again. Because we'd be, we'd be away again, wouldn't we, by the time yeah. we did it. So apologies yeah. if this seems a bit out of order, but I thought it was the only way I thought it could yes. cover it. Yes. I came back to two parcels that had been dumped over the fence, yeah. both in soggy boxes. <laughs> One uh, was containing this little thing, which is obviously waterproof, and this is a sat-nav holder bracket. Uh, I met a guy at the... It, Back at the Harrogate show, wasn't it? I think it was Harrogate, yeah. Yeah, who introduced me to these. He manufactures them himself. So I'm going to be trying that out. So watch out for that. It's uh, Lee Folger. I don't know. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think that's his name. Yeah. He makes these and I'll be trying these out. So that will, that was the first thing that was behind the door. The second thing that was behind the gate was one of these. Now, I, I've been using Sol Buyer for probably about a year now. Least, yeah, I think it's longer. Yeah, so uh, I actually I ran out whilst we were on the tour, and I had to use the the dreaded blue stuff. So I will be doing a review of Sol Bio as well, a bit of an update because people keep asking me how am I getting on with it, mm. and it's a bit marmite this I think for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be, doesn't it? Yeah, you either... love it or hate it. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I. I well, I won't say which category I'm in, but... <laughs> <laughs> so that was sitting behind... I can smell it near the moment, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was sitting in a soggy box. <laughs> yes, that's right, yeah. So there are two things that got tried to be delivered or were delivered whilst we were away, which is always the trouble when you, you go away, of course. Yeah. But then it's like... It's been like the post office here, hasn't it? There have been parcels well, we're arriving. Well, we still... Um, unfortunately, our doorbell had packed up... <laughs> So we didn't realise that until um, we had the shopping delivered. That was the first delivery we had. And there was a banging, wasn't there? And Poppy and Tara were going absolutely loopy. And we didn't know what was going we were going, on. What's going on? And mm, it was the man trying to deliver the shopping. Yeah, so yeah. at the moment, we're relying on Poppy the to be the doorbell. Because, so if uh, you hear Poppy barking, that would be the doorbell. Be the, another <laughs> delivery. Yeah, so, right. So what else have we had delivered? <laughs> well, okay. came yesterday... I get to try not to. Mine. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> is this uh, beast? Yes, the EcoFlow. EcoFlow <laughs> Delta Max. I've got it the wrong way around. All right. Uh, okay. This. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me to lift it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I did a poll a little while ago. Some of you might remember on our community page, asking people should I review another power bank. Yeah. And something like 70% said, yes, why not? 79%. 79%. Not, nearly 1,000 people voted. So nearly 1,000 people voted. Yeah. So I said to EcoFlow, all right, send me the stuff. So they have. So they have. This is a 2,400 watt uh, inverter and battery pack. It's got uh, a 2,000 watt hour battery in it. It weighs 22 kilograms. 
and it is a beast of a, of a power pack. So I will be trying this out. At the Norfolk show, won't at, we? At the Nor Norfolk show and yeah, at, at Wales, grid. probably, as well. Yeah, and um, there's something... What else have they well, sent? I'll, I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, notice there's a number of main sockets it's got know, on the back know, of it. I know, I know. Yeah, and the 12-volt socket, obviously. Very similar to the previous one uh, that we had. Uh, the, the Delta itself on the front with... Uh, Fast charge, you, can you see me? Fast charge <laughs> USB A's on it. <laughs> and uh, fast charge USB C's on it as well. So these are actually 100 watt USB C's. Wow. Because uh, friend Alison is coming to Norfolk yeah. and she's recently been off grid oh, at another no, show. Know. And uh, what she said she was worried about there was her phone charging, just charging her phone. She, she need not worry. worry. <laughs> so she's worried about, you know, a battery and everything. So I said, don't worry, because this beast will be <laughs> coming with us. <laughs> they will power the whole um, Well, it power the whole campsite. Probably. But not only this. Yeah. yeah. They also sent me. <laughs> Fortunately, it's a little bit oh, less heavy. They also sent me one of these. Oh, and this is an EcoFlow backup, or an extra battery basically. You hook this up and it doubles the capacity of the EcoFlow. So we have power cuts or anything? This, this on, we, on a seriously, yeah, oh, yeah. seriously, if we do have power cuts in the winter and we run out of electricity and gas from wherever we're getting it from now, mm. this will save our bacon. Yeah, because you were saying you can run things like kettles off it. And you can well, you can run most things. You could run a two kilowatt fire off it. Mm. You you can run all your hair dryers and toasters and and even sort of domestic kettles off it. Yeah. And with one of these, you could probably power the van for. I'll find out how long. Yeah. Yeah. So we will be trying that whilst we're at the Norfolk show. Yep. It's just uh, I've got to find somewhere to put it. Well, that is, that's right, yeah. But yeah, these these are fantastic things. And, uh, oh, blimey. I think they're quite attractive as well. They look look like a computer. Didn't you tell me that one of them, and I, I presume it's the main thing, yeah. is also an in, a UPS? Yeah, you can yeah, use which... them as UPSs. You can hook this, the two or, or two or more, no, sorry, one or more batteries to one of these, and you can use them as an uninterruptible power supply as well. So, Which we used to, I remember we had a, a thing, when we had a server, didn't we? Yeah. And then we had this other box, and that, that was about that size, and that yeah. was meant to, if we lost power, yeah. you know, it, all my you, databases you've didn't got to be crash. Careful. Or... Well, you've got to be careful, you're not meant to be used for servers. No, but... no, I wasn't thinking of that, I'm just remembering the size of the one we had yeah. originally. Yeah, but, you know, if it's heating or lighting or something like yeah. that, yeah. this would, would carry on working. You plug it into the mains and you plug your appliance into that. And it carries on. And it carries on. Yeah. So they were in <laughs> huge boxes. I filled up the... Um, Great brown bin. The brown bin with cardboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So not only that... This is your idea, this one, wasn't it? Yeah, because Ocha! we've had, had the aqua roll, <laughs> the brown one, since... Grey one? I think it's brown, isn't it? Creamy mm. brown? Or has it just gone that colour? I don't know. Anyway, we've had that since we had the Vista, so yeah. I mean, I think it's 20 years old, and I thought it was about time um, we yeah. got a new one, so... Might be the doorbell. But yeah, so we've got one of these. This is an Aqua Roll, and it's the economy version. I didn't know there was such a thing. No. Uh, slightly cheaper than the, the bigger one, so I wonder if this will last 20 years. Probably, well, I don't know, but it was part of a, a combined thing on Amazon. It was was this <laughs> plus this <laughs> plus it comes with one of these hoses i remember this when we first hired a motor on one of these and uh, i think we've moved, moved on i think that might be someone at the door let me just just check <laughs> Put this down. poppy's doorbell's gone off <laughs> and we bought one of these as well <laughs> yeah it was a combined uh of um thing this plus the oh, yeah. aqua roll close up yeah, I, know, I thought it looked quite smart. Oh yeah, and we've had I've had the original one of that from way back, and you, the wheels were kept falling off. Didn't the it? wheels one were wheel. coming off my wastemaster. Yeah, and they 
the battle, that wasn't fun, was it? Because no. you were quite away from the point. Yeah, and we'd lo lost a few of the caps and uh, yeah, yeah. various things were going wrong with it. So we treated ourselves we to, one to one of one those. one of those, yeah. Late birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> right, so... <laughs> <laughs> what else was it? I think that's it. I think that's it, actually. I think that's yeah. It. yeah. So, um, so that's deliveries. We're still waiting oh. for a sort of boring things like more toilet rolls, um, cleaner for the van, things like that that I've ordered. But yeah, they haven't. They're yeah. coming later. Okay. Yeah. So that's deliveries. We, yeah. We also seem to spend ages doing household things, don't we? For, we get the back for grass obvious. was like this. Yeah. So I've got a picture of the grass, how it was, yeah. and at the moment it is. It's looking good again. And I filled up the green bin with that yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, the girls had a bath, didn't they? Yeah. Um, yeah. We're, we're going for haircuts next week, right. which we desperately need, yeah. don't we? And then they're going to the groomers again. So And we've got the dentist, all those sort of things. Yeah, so yeah. that's why we have to come home. People ask yeah. us, do we ever go home? But those oh, no. are the reasons we have to go home. Go, yeah, but it makes the time go quickly, doesn't it? It certainly we, does. Well, we go away since again. we got back, have we? I spent a day and a bit doing washing, and I haven't yeah. done anything in the van yet. I've no. just done, No, you we've, know, got, we've got to do the cleaning in the house tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, I'm finishing the editing of one of the, uh, the Salisbury videos, and mm. I've still got the other one to edit. <sighs> yeah, so. so and we were trying to do a lot while we were away, weren't we? Yeah. Even so. Yeah. Yeah, still so busy, busy, quite up busy. to date, yeah. So yeah. N next is... Next is... Next tour visit. Well, do you want me just to run through? Oh, yeah, sorry. Just a summary of... Yeah, do the costs of the tour. Yeah, as soon as I've it, managed better. to do it. Um, yeah, so, I mean... the. We'll put a map up of where we went, but basically we went down to the Cotswolds, didn't we? We went along the south coast as far as Hastings, yeah. um, stayed at Battle. Um, then we came back, um, Littlehampton, up to Salisbury. We had a couple of nights at Burford. But we, we, we had we a couple of nights off, we didn't film Yeah, anything, we didn't film anything at Burford because right. you were trying to catch up. Um, we were all tired. Tara seemed particularly tired, so yeah. we, we just sort of... Went into Burford on Rome without yeah. had a camera, didn't we? Which no. was unusual. Well, that's right. It was uh, <laughs> quite unusual. I was, I was thinking there's something missing, but yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so I put together figures which do include um, staying at Burford as well, because right. obviously that that was part of it. Yeah. Um, the grand total we were away for twenty six days. Mm -hmm. Grand total is one six one six ten. Right. Um, which I work out is an average of sixty two pound a day. Right. Okay. So what did we spend that on? We went okay. to. What did we spend it on? <laughs> went to quite a few car parks. Yeah. And you had quite a few battles. I've got about with, three new apps for car parks. Yeah, park, with it? all these different Ringo and My Permit and all these things. Yeah. Um, £26.42. And, and about £6 of that, which we didn't need to spend it. Well, that one, I think it was something like £2.70. No, we didn't think we'd paid yeah. and we thought we got to leave. Oh. And oh, yeah. clothes, you spent £18 on a t shirt with the Normans on. Oh, yeah. Um, we couldn't get a very good phone signal while we were at Burford, so I found out that their um, internet is gold standard. Yeah. So th uh, we thought we'd take a risk, so we paid £3.50 and we managed to watch two episodes of Stranger Things, didn't we? Yeah, Stranger Things. On that, yeah. with no buff hardly any buffering, yeah. so that, that was really good. Yeah. Bike hire, which you did <laughs> with Trevor and Sue and Co. Yeah. Um, that's the other thing that's coming. Yeah, but... But this is the bike you borrowed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I yeah. Know. Uh, 21 pounds. Yeah. Um, fuel. Um, we obviously went out a lot in the car, so yeah. that obviously saved us money yeah. because it does more miles to, per gallon. Yeah. Um, altogether, we spent 27124. Is that on the van alone? Or no, that's, in the car? that includes the car because okay. all, I, all we did for the car was we had a 50 pound note, didn't yeah. we? And so we filled up 50 pound, <laughs> yeah. and yeah. That, se that seemed to. Well, it was about half, half a tank's worth, which probably means that the whole tank for that little car now is about, about 100, 100 quid. pounds. Yeah. But it got us all the way around all the yeah. castles and everything yeah, yeah. we went yeah, without right. needing any more. Yeah. Right, meals out and take Oh, hang on a minute. I've just got to say, the I backed off when I was on the motorway. I've tended to go along the motorway when we're towing at just below the legal limit uh, of 60. Uh, I backed off a couple of miles an hour whilst we were towing 
so it ended up sort of in and in amongst the trucks really so wanted to see if that had any bearing on how many miles per gallon we were doing i haven't checked the last time we reported on uh, fuel economy with the motor and when we were touring but this time it was 26.2 which i think is about a mile per gallon better than I've yeah done because previously. i thought it was 25 something i before. think it was probably something like 25.4 or something yeah. like that yeah yeah so it does make a difference if you just slow down a little bit. I still can't believe the speed some pe some people are going. You think mm. you know they've got mm. well they must have money to burn literally. Yeah, yeah. And well, I suppose we we were would being quite careful and with the car as well, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying fifty pound got us to all those castles and yeah various places. Yeah, yeah. Um, so do you know how many miles we did? Uh, no. Okay. Hang on, I'm thinking it's, I think it's eight hundred and thirty seven. Well, that's pretty good then. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. Um, so anyway, the next category is meals out and takeaways. Yeah. We were lucky that a lot of the sites had like either a fish and chip van or yeah, pizza. Or pizza. We had two yeah, with pizza, pizza and we had a chili and. Uh, yeah, and then we went to various places. Just chips. had coffee, and we didn't actually have a lot of no. main meals out. I mean, we no. went to the pub, didn't we, at Battle? Yeah. Um, but we didn't do it sort of every day. Um, no, the, the one at Catsfield we went to. Yeah. We? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, um, we're, we're not, I mean, we don't eat out an awful lot unless we tend to be with people. Right? Yeah, then it's easier, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, rather than trying to figure out what to cook. We'll cook, yeah. So that, Sorry, that, carry on. that was £307.95. Um, museum fees and guidebooks. Yeah. Now, this was mainly when we went to somewhere where we weren't members, either the National Trust or yeah. English Heritage. Yeah. Because we went, we all the English Heritage places were free for us for being members. Mm. But we did buy guidebooks when we were there. Yeah, so I think yeah. a lot of the, the what we spent, £50.20, we, we bought a guidebook at each one, didn't mm. we? Yeah. And we get a 10% discount don't we, for being a member, yeah. but it was still sort of four or five pound each time. Yeah. But I love looking at them afterwards yeah it's difficult yeah. looking at them going round because well it, yeah you've got the boards or you've got yeah, the, uh, yeah. the audio guides or that sort of thing so mm. tend to look at those when we're going around plus you can't read and film and no yeah. and i'm, I'm sort of tending to be holding two dogs yeah, so yeah. i can't really read no. it um yeah so the biggest cost yeah. and this come and no surprise yeah. was the site fees right remember this is 26 nights yeah um Eight hundred and seventy-seven seventy-nine. Right. Okay. Right. Um, an average of thirty-three pound a night. Right. But we did treat ourselves to, to several to, service pictures. Yeah. yeah. But to make life easier for you, because you, yeah. you know, you've got a lot of editing to do, and yeah. Yeah. you know, been taking us around during the day. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, so the average of thirty-three pound a night. Yeah. And the final thing I've got is we went on that watercress line and yeah. we bought. Tickets twenty pound each. So that was forty pound. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Yeah. So that all added up to one six one six ten. I mean the <laughs> one six one. One six one six ten. All right, very round number. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed that tour. Did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of looking back on it. I'm thinking, well, maybe there was too many castles and things like that. But it's what we us, enjoy doing. Well, it's, yeah. Why I joined why well, we joined English Heritage in the first yeah, place to yeah. go to these places. Yeah. They seemed to all sort of follow on from each other, didn't they? From the Romans landing, was, the Normans, yeah. you know, right up until we went to Salisbury. Yeah, there was, there was a lot centred around William, mm, William the Conqueror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you said William the Conqueror. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, while Poppy's still young, she loves to go there. Yeah. So we know they don't get as many views as if we go to a site or anything like that no or do a van review they're part yeah. of our recording our memories aren't yeah, they yeah that's right i mean that's we do we do a lot of what we do on youtube for our own benefit and our own memories as well as mm. much as anything but mm. uh, the fact that people also enjoy them it is, is yeah a bonus, i think so. people who, who like historical places seem to really love to you yeah. know see you poppy yeah. shooting up a tower <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I can't just editing a bit where she's shooting does. up steps. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, so we no, enjoyed that. So we enjoyed it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you've got any any questions about the tour or any any comments, uh, leave a comment below. Um, let us know what your plans are for the rest of the summer. And uh, you think back a couple of years ago, what summer was like then i oh, know it was just so fantastic yeah. to be able to you know to know you could do this tour and 
Yeah. Now you could go to these yeah. places and not have to cancel everything at the last minute. Yeah, yeah. It was really good. So yeah. we've, next thing is the Norfolk show, followed by a couple of days um, in the Nottingham area. Yeah. Then we come back. Then we're, we're off to... We go to over to Lincolnshire. <laughs> then we're going over to um, a CL. Yeah, I found a really CS. No, it's a CL. Oh, it's a CL. A CL oh, okay. called Spring Paddock. Yeah, near uh, Cannock Chase. Yeah, and then we're going to Wales, and I've got four sites <laughs> in Wales, yeah. and then we come home for. I think it's about 10 days or something mm. like that, and then it's the Northern Ireland trip. Now we're off to Northern trip. Ireland, so look, I'm really looking forward to that as well. Yeah, yeah, so that's what's sort of coming up. Yeah, so we're having a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, this was the tour I really was looking for. The yeah, one we just done. it was your tour, really, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. Northern yeah. Ireland was more me, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> and so I can get the blame for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, looking forward to it. Hope you enjoyed it. Have we missed anything? Don't think so. Surrounded by stuff here. I know, I know. <laughs> We've really got to sort that. Got to what we're going to do it, with all this. Tidy everything up. Yeah. Yeah. So give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, why not? Why not what? Subscribe. Oh right. <laughs> you said yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we'll catch up with you in a past video. <laughs> yeah. In. Yeah, and catch up with ourselves eventually. Yeah. Eventually. When we eventually we'll be up today. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, sorry for this waffle. And we'll see you soon. <laughs> yeah, bye, bye then. Bye then.